yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of The Real Mikey D. History, that's his story. Today's episode, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna talk to a brother that a lot of y'all should be familiar with. If you're not familiar with, you're definitely gonna be familiar with him after this. This brother has been with me since he was about maybe 13, 14 years old. You know, back in the days, people really thought we were biological brothers, but we, we, we brothers through hip hop. The same way that the clientele brothers took me under their wing is the exact same way that I took Lotto under my wing. I mean, this brother, the way that we met is crazy. You know, um, I used to live in Rochdale Village, which is in Jamaica, Queens, you know. It's like two towns over from Laurelton, because you, you gotta walk the back streets. I wasn't driving yet, you know what I mean? So I was hanging out in Laurelton, and then, you know, later on that night, I walked to Rochdale, and I used to go through the back door on the Bedell Street side. I used to live in Building 14. So I used to go through the back door on the Bedell Street side, once you go through the back door, you're in the hallway, like, you know, you had to go this way to go, to, to go through another door to get to the elevators, or you could go this way, and the laundry rooms was right there. So, when I got there, it was these two young dudes coming to past the laundry room to me, and one of them said, yo, that's Mikey D right there. And then the other little yellow bastard, <laughs> my man Lotto, he, um, he asked me if I wanted to battle him or something like that, or go rhyme for rhyme. He said he spits too. So, me being Mikey D, and at that time, of course I wanted to hear him spit. And i never forget, yo, he was young, he was hungry, but he had so much flow, and, and his cadence was just up the bar. And, and I don't remember him saying something about court and tape or, or, or something, but... MC Lotto, that was his name back then. He was super dope and you know, from that point on, I took him under my wing and he was with me everywhere I went. I mean, when, when I won the seminar, he was around. When I used to rock in the park jams, Lotto was out there. You know what I'm saying? Cats and Queens know MC Lotto. Today he goes by the name of La Picasso because he said he paints pictures with his words and, and it's a true fact. Ask anybody from Mr. Cheeks to Zodiac Fish Reese, even to my man LL Cool J, they can, they can co-sign what I'm saying about my man MC Lotto. Man, this dude right here is dope. So today I definitely want to chop it up with Lotto and see what he's up to now because I always say Lotto is one of those guys that's like a chameleon because no matter what's going on in hip hop, no matter what turn it takes, what style comes out, he can adapt to it. Right now, I believe he has an album out called Trap vs. Boom Bap, and it's like he's doing both styles. So, Lot is a jack of all trades. He, he um, produces, he edits. You know, the only thing he doesn't do is choreograph, dance choreography, you know what I'm saying? But um, we're gonna chop it up with my brother Lotto and see what he's up to. And you know, hope y'all enjoy the show. Let's go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as we promised you, it's my brother from another mother, my brother in hip hop, MC Lotto, AKA Lot Picasso. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> hey, yo, Lot, what's good, baby? What's good, yo? You man, chilling, so, feeling good, you know? That's, you look good, man, you look good. You look like you put on a couple of turkeys. I mean, pounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready, listen, I'm getting ready to start running around the park. I was, I was in the gym for a minute, I was doing good, then I, I slacked off, you know the story. Oh, no doubt. It's all good. I mean, we all do it at times, you know what I'm saying? It's all about that discipline, man. We we, we there now. You know Not what I mean? Back. So, like I tell my people at the beginning of the show, the people that are a part of this show are also a part of my history. Mm -hmm. But... It's not only about me, it's about you too, because as long as I've been talking about you, there are some people that are not familiar with your face or what you really about. So that's why I wanted to bring you to the platform. It's about time, God damn it, I should have had you on 
one of the first episodes, but nah, we here it's, now. It's all good. We we warming up. You you was getting everything right. You I see you got your setup. You streaming on on seventeen million platforms. Damn, <laughs> Yo, you know I'm trying to navigate through the technology Come age, man. These little kids nah. is busting my behind, man. Now nah, we doing good. We doing good. That's what it is, man. So first thing I want to know, man. The first thing I want to know when I met you, I think I was I was I was going to Rochdale and you approached me at the back door of Rochdale. Anyway, you was you was mad young, but prior to to us meeting and 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 chopping it up and you know building our relationship, what inspired you to do what you do? Like, how did you adopt the name Lotto and? Where did you get your inspiration from to do this hip hop thing? Nah, for, first of first, like, you know, I was young, so I think hip hop came on the radio for the Sugar Hill Gang record when I was about eight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, at nine, I started rhyming my he? own, you know, my own lyrics and stuff like that. One long story short, you know what I mean? The, the fast forward, one day I was at my man Kenny Fields crib. And, right. um, and uh, he lived in uh, Section 4 in Rochdale. Right, and right. I, I spent the night at his crib, and he let me hear a tape. And the tape was you on the oh, tape. Yes. Yeah. That's so crazy. I think it was, um, I think you did Dawn, and I forgot what, what exactly, but I know Dawn was definitely on it. But okay. you was, it was spitting something, something else. I don't remember what it was, because it was a long time ago. But right. He he was like, yo, he be in the next building. And I said, word? So that kind of bugged me out. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. So he was like, yo, let's see if we can write our own rhymes. Mm -hmm. So right then, I started writing rhymes. And like, and like, months after that, me and him was together, and he was like, that's him right there that was on the tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, then he said, yo, he want to battle you. I'm like, yo, oh, shit. I ain't back down, but I spit some shit. You know? I remember. You spit some shit. Crazy. You, you said I was crazy. And then and from there, it was it was, it was was on. You know what it I'm was saying? Off to the, it was off to the races, man. That's That was the start of it. I said, I think I remember you saying something about you caught in tape or some old crazy shit. Right? Yo, I, I don't, yo, I don't remember none of them rhymes back then. Like, I don't remember nothing. Like, I hardly remember the new stuff I'm writing now. Right, well, th that comes with age, man. I'm having that problem right now, too, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, when I met you, that was around the same time that we had the um um yes, the Dougie Fresh joint. No show was out at that time, right? Um, Was it out? I yeah, think, I think it was. I think no was. show, we was just... We was just coming down coming off of that that yeah. trip right there when, when I met you. So MC Lotto, MC Lotto, how, how did you adopt that name? Was well, that your I, first rap name? Nah, my first rap name was Easy E. <laughs> oh, okay. Then it was then it was e Rock. You know what that was inspired by? T La Rock. Absolutely. Then it was then it was um Then I went through Kid Comet one time real quick, and then it was and then it was Lotto. Cause I wanted something, a name, some everybody could remember. Right. So Why I Lotto? I chose, Cause the the million dollar man or exactly. And then after that, you know, I had a crew called the Step Crew. Through right. my name, we all named ourselves Sneakers. In case people don't know, it was Lotto Sneakers out. And and my partner was my man Earl Ward. He was Elise. His his brother was a DJ DJ Bally, and the Human yep. Beatbox Damn. was Rebox, aka Lee Box. Lee you know Box. what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah. now, when 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 you was rocking with me, you was also rocking with a crew that was dope, man. Because you had two partners, mm -hmm. HBO and Kurt Digger. Tell Back. me how. Verbal harassment got together because y'all three, hands down, salute. You know what I mean? Because uh, y'all Yo, yeah, were mean. We, yeah, we had a um. Somebody was saying, I think Dave Reed or somebody was saying, I forgot who it was, was saying um, you know, oh, oh, this kid Lotto is ill, like, and um, or whatever my name. I don't know if I was Lotto then or 
I, you know what I mean? I can't remember, but I remember we battled at, at, at Lee's house, at Earl Ward crib. Right. And, um, and his DJ was scratching. So HBO right. and Kirk battled me and Elise. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so when, from then, the we got tight. You know, after that, Kurt and them got to deal with Run DMC. Right. JDK Records. Right. HBO had went into the Navy. They was getting ready to release their album. But HBO Pops was on them like, yo, you got to do something in the crib. And you know what I mean? Putting the pressure on them. So he went into right. the Navy. And when he went into the Navy, they all had an album done. I was on the album. They approached me to try to, to try. I thought they wanted me to do, you know, be the lead rapper because Kurt wasn't really rapping that hard then. HBO was the lead rapper. You know, Kurt was like right. the hype man slash he rapped a little bit. You know, what I mean? like sort of like Vinny and Naughty by Nature. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Got so, you. so when they approached me, I thought they wanted me to do my own rhymes, but now nah, they tried to make me do some Millie Vanilli shit. Because HBO was in the Navy. So you was you were supposed to lip sync his parts? And I said, nah, because that would mess up my whole career. Right, right. And, right, and everybody yeah. knew that wasn't me. And plus, you know, as a rapper, you know, I wasn't going to do that. But anyway, yeah. you know, anyway, that's how that deal, you know, fell out because they, they had to put somebody else out first. And and then you know you know how labels was once you put somebody out first and it don't do good then you don't get to bring the rest of your artists out. Yeah, that's a fact, yeah. man. Shout out to Kurt Digger and HBO, man, my mm -hmm. people. Speaking right. of speak, speaking of Kurt Digger, hey, come on, damn, we got history, man. I, I, some of this shit comes back to me like boom, ambush, coming when you least expect. expect it. Yeah. Now, now you, you know. Now, now we, we we met. Um, I don't even remember. Do you remember how we was introduced to Ted or the situation? Because I think it came from you first, and yeah. I just jumped on it. Then I told you, come 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 in or some shit like that. I what it was, I what it was, was um, Orlando. Remember uh -huh. Orlando? Orlando uh -huh. had introduced me to Ted, and uh -huh. then um, at the same time. We were dealing with Armstrong, you know what I mean, and Man. all of that. So, so that's how that all came about. But I liked working with Ted because he paid us every time we went to the studio, like we were the engineers. Exactly. And it was five people in the group, and he paid Man, us one hundred fifty dollars a trip. Listen, he, he knew he knew what to do to keep to bring us together. Money bring you together. Without and money, it keeps you happy. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, we did our thing with the hey, ambush yo, thing. Hey, yo, now, people know you as Lotto and MC Lotto forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. What brought on the change of Lot Picasso? I know Damn, you draw and paint pictures good. with your words. I had to get into that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> but, that's what, what, that's what the that name stands for. Okay, okay, yeah. so, so but, that makes... But, but at the same time as, you know, there's a lot of people coming out, I was here. People was just sending me videos, lotto this, lotto that, street lotto, this lotto, lotto, you know what I mean? And I'm like, right. yo, I just get tired of being compared to somebody else. So I'm saying, yo, the way I wanted to keep lotto in a way, so that's why the word lot is in there. Cause I could have just, you know, do lot out. It ain't have to be lot Picasso, you know what I mean? And right. I spelled it different. And I spelled it different. Just because in case somebody wants to say they Picasso, Nobody spell it the way I spell it. You know what I mean? P A C O S S O. Right. You know what I mean? So right. So it stands out like that. But basically, I started getting into camera work and editing video. So that's another reason why. You know what I mean? I, I adopted the name, and it was just fresh. It's giving me a um. Where is he? You know, Where is he? Reinventing, it's me a, yourself. reinventing myself. Exactly. Reinventing myself. Reinventing yourself, and I see you moving, man. It's like I know your age, but yeah. you don't. You, 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 you're not, you're not moving like that. I mean, your talent and the way that you, 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 you represent this hip hop thing. You would swear you was a, a 25 year old, a 30 year old. You still got the energy. You still got the look. You still got the content. Cause a lot of cats, you know, from my era, our era, they stayed mm -hmm. stuck in that format. But you, I noticed ever since you was young, you was always like a chameleon. You was able to adapt to anything that was going on at the time. 
and that's that's the great thing about you now coming up well damn i i, I kind of almost know your history i was going to say were you around any other brothers but we were around like the same people man like you know what i'm saying Cheeks and yep. runs and all of them yo we was around everybody man we was around like we was around everybody like you know what i'm saying like from the park jam era like we, we skipped over a lot because it's a, it's and we'll be here forever we and we go through step by step you know in the park jam era we we did that with um D, you know grandmaster big uh cheeks uh uh, uh um spick shout out to uh spick spick nice you home too yeah, shout out to Spig. I just shouted them out on on um, Instagram. Word up. Yeah. So from the from Cheeks and uh, Onyx and um, Kwame and you know me, everybody that was in the park in Queens. Uh, R.I.P. Bismarck. We was out there oh, with Bismarck. him. We was we was out there when Redman first came. Yeah. And, you yo, know Red Man, Red Man called it Monty Cello Park on uh, Vlad TV. <laughs> yo, as a matter of fact, the other day me and Wanda were coming home from somewhere, and, and you know, Red Man, he has a show on uh, Rock the Bells Radio. I'm coming in. Oh, right. he I was didn't know telling that. Us, he was telling a story, and this is right when Biz Markie had passed, and they were reminiscing and telling stories about this. Now, Red Man said something that caught my attention, man, and, and we got to get some clarification on this because he was saying that Biz Markie used to take him around and, you know, he, he, he would get on and he would take out whoever was around. He did it in Brooklyn. He did it such and such place and such and such place. Then he said one time he took him to Montebello Park and he took out the dudes that were there. Now, if <laughs> I recall correctly, that be uh, me, hey, yo. you, I believe Eddie OJ was there. I think TC um, was on. Whatchamacallit, um, damn, Pop and them from, um, damn, I forgot the name of their group, but my man Pop, he, Dark Side, from the Dark Side, remember them? They was, right. was like part of the Lost Boys. I don't right. think Cheeks was there that day. Cheeks wasn't there. But it's right. it's a tape. Tape Master got the tape of everybody on that on, on it. Yeah, I, I, I got the tape. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I don't remember us getting taken out by Red Man, but I do <laughs> remember him. I do remember the crowd being very receptive because yeah, Red Man was the new water, kid man. on the block and he was dope. Hands down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not taking anything away from oh, him. Yeah, he was definitely dope, but I, I just don't remember battling or nothing like that. We all rocked out that day together. Biz Markie and us were always out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Biz, Biz, we already knew Biz. We we just met Red Man then. But you know, Red Man, yeah. he might not remember. I mean, you was you was always well known. So I don't know if he remember me. You know what I'm saying? Right, but, right. Um, oh, I got a story I wanted to tell, I wanted to say um, that a lot of people don't know. Um, you, you remember? When we went up to sleeping bag, when you was signed to sleeping bag, label, yes, sir. and you remember I was with you, and Eric Sherman ran up yeah. to you and saying, "Yo, who's, who's that, that kid, Lotto? Kid Lotto? <laughs> Yo, he dope." Yeah. And then you was like, "Yo, Lotto's right here." Yeah. yeah. And he said, "He said that ain't Lotto. Get the fuck out of here." He said, "Bust around." I, I spit some shit that I knew wasn't on the tape. He was like, "Oh, you ill?" He said, "Yo, come in." In the back with us. And that's the first time we saw You Got to Chill. You Got to Chill, the video. That's right. That's right. Just Ice was there. Just Ice, crazy behind. That's my man. Word. I, yo, Just is my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Sherman and Paris, they was there. And we and was we laughing. Left, we was laughing when when, the, when he said, because she's a schizoid and then the girl turns right. into whatever. She was frozen or whatever she turns into. <laughs> yo. yo. That's the day when we left from sleeping bag. I think Parrish pulled off. He had like one of them Suzuki Jeeps like Brad had, but his had yes. the Louis Vuitton rag or something like that. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no doubt, man. Get your lotto. If we start going through the stories, we would have people cracking up. We'll be on oh, here yeah. forever. But we're not gonna do we're gonna do that another time. We're gonna do it on a live stream or something like that. Cause right now. 
I want the people to know what's going on with La Picasso. I want to know about your new music. I want you to share your, your information where the people could reach you and follow you because this show right here is about shining the light on those who inspired me. And you, sir, I always say, and I just said it recently, I, I got a I got a bias top yes, five, indeed. but if I had to, if I was able to put a six person, that six person would be you. You heard? No doubt, no doubt. So Listen. let's talk about what you got going on now, brother. I'm Same here, bro. I put you know what I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Top whatever. Um, but you know, yo, you know, cause it's hard to do a top five. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of all the dope MCs we know that was out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, I, I base my top five against inspiration and motivation oh, yeah. and the impact nah. that they had on yeah, me so you, personally. You would definitely be in my top five then. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. if that, you know, because it'd be you, Cool G Rap, um, Chuck D. Remember, Ch yo, Chuck D. Yo, Chuck, Chuck is our man. Word. Yeah. That, that's other stories we got when we used to go up in BAU before, before Chuck Public Enemy was even out. When Dr. Dre had the operating room. Yeah. When we thought Dr. Dr. Dre, we thought that Dr. Dre with Ed Lover was um Dr. Dre that made NWA. We jumped on his back. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, it's not me, guys. We was on his back. <laughs> Yo, like, it's not me, guys. It's the guy from the West Coast. Yo, see, I'm usually the one that remembers everything, but that right there. <laughs> Yo, we yeah. was literally on his back. Yeah, because he could hold us up back then. You know what I mean? We was like, we was about 120 pounds together. You know but, but what I'm he saying? Was, but he was, he was moving around like, it's not me, guys. Just stretch out on my waterbed, waterbed, waterbed. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, that yo, shit that. is funny. The, remember, remember this on that one. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Man, we got so many different things to talk about. Great times. But yo, this is the one thing that I have to talk about on, on, on this platform because I want people to, to, to get a real kick out of this. Remember mm -hmm. that time me and you was twisted and we fought over a book of matches or a lighter <laughs> and we was rolling and rolling. And running and New rolling. York ride. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? You was like, yo, they wasn't the Irish matches. Remember, they was the, the stick the ones. House. Yeah. The, the box. The, and he was like, yo, that's my box. You swing on me. We was on the ground. And then some dude tried to, hey, break it up. And then we came towards him like we was going to yeah. jump him. <laughs> two, two wild pit bulls. Yo, that that's bad, man. That's bad, yo. We... <laughs> Yo, Palat, man, what you got going on right now, man? Let, let the people know what you got going on. Yo, man, I got an album out now called Track Verse Boom Bap. You know what I'm saying? It's on all platforms. Um, you can also get it on my website, trackverseboombapbeats.com, you know? And I got, um, you know, that's all. You know, I sell beats on my website. Um, and, you know, just follow me on the grant. Oh, also follow my YouTube page. Yo, yes. Mike. You've been promoting your YouTube. I see your subscribers been going up and up. I've been sharing your stuff too, but right. I'm trying to get to a, a thousand too. You you almost but, there. You'll probably be there tomorrow. Yo, I, yo, I'm three shy, baby. Three shy. All I need is three. And, and YouTube ain't like Instagram, where somebody follow you or unfollow you. I wanted to, I wanted to speak on that too. Instagram. That's why I don't like Instagram that much because of that. Because you know what I mean. Because it's like a, a a fashion show. You know, almost. It's almost like. Yo, I don't want to follow too many people because I don't want to look like, you know? And I just be following everybody. Like, even younger kids be telling me, no, unfollow some people. I'll be like, oh, I don't care about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they say that um, your, your, your followers are supposed to be a higher number than the people you're following and all of that. I, I try not to get caught up in all of the politics of that that bull crap. I, you know me, I stay mad at the social media platforms because they won't verify me. I'm certified on the street. I'm recognized by the Grammy. I'm considered for a Grammy. They can recognize who I am. You ain't the only one. Guess who else ain't verified? <laughs> no, guess who? Don't, Babs don't say Bunny. Babs. Don't say Babs. Babs. Babs ain't verified. Come on, Babs. Yo, everybody, everybody from the band is verified. Chop all, all of them, Ness, and they ain't verified her. Ma and she got more followers. And she's doing things now that's popping. 
Exactly. Yo, I don't know everybody, what make sure y'all follow Babs Bunny, Queen of the Ring. Make sure y'all follow her because yeah. she's official tissue. You heard? Yeah, and we got a single out called Cash App. Um, that's, me, that's me featuring Bad hey, Bunny, and also let me let everybody know I produced my whole album. I did every beat on the album. Um, um, I did. I got a website where I sell my music. Damn, People do I'm buy my beats on my website. They do go on there, check it out. They buy a lot of beats. I do sell a lot of beats on that. the website. I could promote the website a little more. And I could also put a lot more beats on there. I got a lot of beats, but it, it's hard for me to do everything. So I'm doing everything. I'm producing myself. I'm producing other artists. I'm I'm putting beats on my website. I'm also uh, doing video editing. I'm shooting my own videos with the help Just of my man PK. My water, you know, water, somebody got to hold a camera sometime. And I'm editing my own video. My cow you know? yeah. Yeah, we got, we got something in common. Yeah, so... You know that's what I, that's what I'm doing. I'm do I do want to work with Doom and the Wiz on some videos. I've been talking to him about that for a minute, and yeah. um, and you know, and all, other people too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Doom, Doom is dope. Doom is 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 definitely official, man. He's definitely official. Shout out to Doom and the Wiz. Shout out to Zodiac, Fish Grease, and the whole crew. Shout out Cal Cutter. Oh, shout out Granddaddy IU. Shout oh, out, you man. know what I mean? That's my fucking dog. That's the, that's I'm that's my light skin, dark skin brother for life. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, so lot, give them your your social media tags so they know how to get at you. Actually, I'ma put it right down below. Right. Yeah, it's I, at I, at underscore lot Picasso on Instagram. You know what I mean? That's L O T underscore P A C O S S O. You know what I mean? And um. Sorry. And you know, Facebook, La Picasso. I'm on there, La Picasso. Um, I don't really be on no other media so much, but Facebook and um it's on oh, YouTube. YouTube, La Picasso. Make sure you uh, give them oh yeah, spell that out first. The man with the yeah, L O T um uh, space it P A C O S S O. I come up. My main page, I have I have over 500 subscribers, so you'll see. You could um just subscribe to my uh, YouTube page. Um, I've been I had a YouTube page for a minute. I used to, you know, I you know we got I got a lot of videos with Mike on there. Matter of fact, I think me me and Mike's video was one of the top videos on my um YouTube page. The one we did um to the beat when we standing on the car. Uh, new generation. Oh, new generation. That was yeah. Dope. yeah. Yeah. What's your uh, website? Oh, uh, trap verse boom back beats.com. So okay. just how I spell trap, T R A P V S, um, you know, that verse and boom, B O O M, bat, B A P, beats, B E A T S dot com. There it is. Make sure you um connect your YouTube link to that website. I'll show you how to move around. Yeah, 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 yeah you got it, yeah, because I know you, you doing, yeah, you doing the big things with it. Yeah, because what I'm, what I'm trying to do instead of depending on other platforms, I'm social media in. outlets, I utilize the uh, internet instead of just, the, you know what I mean? Put me Man. in some, some write-ups. Let me have a thousand write-ups so when people Google my name. My name is coming up all over the place. You know what I'm saying? And then you connect yeah. all of that to your website and draw that traffic that way. Because pretty yeah. soon, you know, Facebook and all of that stuff is going to shut down, man. And then yeah. people are going to be stranded. But that's why we got to have our own websites and all of that where we can control the narrative of what's yeah. being said. I got but, a question. I got a question uh -huh. for you before we bounce, man. Uh-huh. You remember when we used to drop science? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh. You think, you think, you think you remember that, man? You think we'll be yeah. on, on beat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on it. Let's see. One, two, Damn, three. We're dropping, We're dropping science. science. No, no other, other brothers, brothers can't compete, can't compete with our lyrical house. knowledge. So how could you be? Lots so I'm the preacher, not teacher, because I will burn. I only will teach when you're willing to learn. Mikey D. The energetical, poetical boss, the motor mouth. And, and my microphone's the exhaust. Pipe and we hype. hype. How could, how we, could be we be a toy? toy? I destroy, then I build. Man, I'm building destroy. MC so MCs get your pencil, pencil and pad and, and, pad and just know that we wrote it. We're, We're devoted. devoted. So don't so quote don't, it. 
If you try, you die. And why is the it's question? It's question. Jess and Quest is fresh. You can't you touch can't them. Touch <laughs> now you know, you know. My rhymes are fly, they multiply oh, like a gremlin. I was like, I was cool with you and steal all, your women. all your women. Your women. The signing. The mind man is mining. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that, that's old. And we talking about the 80s. Yeah, we yeah. talking about the 80s. Yo, Mike, yo. I got something. I got something. You know, I got the cam. So I wanted to do some like Come some in. some like live performances of artists. I wanted to showcase the artists. Like, like in a in a quiet room, but but them performing a song. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A showcase. Yeah. Oh, but not, by the way, but, but but I wanted to do it online. You know what I mean? All right. So yeah, make that happen. I'm with you. I was just talking to my man Showtime from Showtime Battle League. I know you around all of the battle rappers oh, and yeah, all of yeah, that yeah. as well. And you know that's the cloth that I'm cut from. Yeah. So. What I was telling Showtime, he should throw an event. And you know, I rock with my man Lush One too from King oh, of the Dot. You know what I mean? But what I was What's telling around, my man means, Showtime, and I thought about you too, I said, we should do Showtime Presents Pass the Torch Battles. Whereas brothers like you and I, we would get a young and up and coming battle rapper and we would be in his corner coaching him like the boxing no, matches you know how they no, are yeah, yeah. coaches they'd be like yo throw that left jab yo what you doing man your breath control coming in and we pass. it's like because we've been there and done that but we training these young cats to go out there and be beasts. But, you but, know I mean? but some but some of them think we ain't got it, Mike. So we got to show them. Look, that's what happened. You know, I had a battle on the on and all of all of, all of the serious Jones judged it. Uh, Chilla Jones, Babs, you know Babs, uh, Bonnie, Bonnie. You had uh, J, uh with J two and um, Sarah. It was it was a lot of battle rappers that judged it. And they right. was yo, they they was praising me. They said I'm ready for smack, all that. You know what I mean? Yes, like, indeed. but you, I was you, telling you've people, been doing that, yeah. Yeah, but I was telling people I get busy with it. But the whole thing, it's a lot of work, Mike. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you really got to just be focused on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I believe it, man. That's why I don't take no credit away from these battle rappers today. Like the yeah. battle rapper, the battle rap that I came up with, you get off the top of the head. You could write dope rhymes and you just tear them up. It was just a spontaneous, on the spot type of thing. But these dudes, man, they train for six months and they get to rip the angles that they come with and all. Yeah, yo, you, I got it. Gotta yo, be. So I'm like a, like uh, Sirius Jones was like, he said, yeah, I, he said, I love the angle you came. I just came straight for his head. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I paused, I played a little bit, you know. It's, it, it, I got busy though. Hey, yo, I got busy. Yo, even Reem was like, "Yo, he said, Dad, you made me want to battle rap." <laughs> yo, that's crazy, but that's what it is, man. But Mark. yo, Lotto, yo, Damn. thanks for coming through the platform, good. man. And um, you know, we got we got much more work coming to do. And uh, you know, I'ma holla at you because we're gonna have to go live and we're gonna have to tell some of our stories, man. Because we'll oh, have the people oh, in stitches. You know, we'll have a lot of people under pressure as well. They'd be like, God, please don't let these guys tell that story. You know what I mean? But yo, Lot, it's time yo. to get up out of here. Yo. Salute to yo, you. We're going to help you to boost you. that, that YouTube channel up. We're going to get that monetized. And um, ladies and gentlemen, give my brother Lot Picasso a lap round of applause. Yeah. Yo, Lotto, I love you, bro. I'm not love you, bro. Salute. Salute. All right. Hey. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that was dope, man. See what I was saying? You see what I'm saying? La Picasso, boy. Make sure y'all follow him on all of the platforms and, and make sure y'all support that brother's um his music, man. He got some dope music. Shout out to Babs, buddy, because I always see her representing my brother. And you know, she's dope as well. Check her out at uh, Queen Queen of the Ring, man. She be rocking with Smack and all of them. She down with that caffeine thing too. But um, La Picasso, man, thanks for joining the platform. You are my brother for life. And ain't nothing that's gonna ever change. Um, so that's that. Like we always say, if you want us to support your brand or your music, your 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 um your gear, 
whatever you have, hit us up at the email, which is pastortorch20 at gmail.com. And we will definitely get back to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Hip Hop Fundamental. You know, we're part of the team now. We're going to be working together. Pass the torch. Hip Hop Fundamental. Kind of dope. You know what I mean? Big things coming. You know what I mean? So until then, we out of here.